I'm mad about summer herbs and in my opinion, they're totally underused in this country. We just don't cook with them enough, but I know that they can liven up any lunch. Herbs are in season right now and it's not just the common cultivated ones that are available. I've come to the holistic hotspot that is Glastonbury to meet wild herb hunter-gatherer, Pat Barkey. Pat. Hello, Val. The White Witch of Glastonbury. Oh, yes, you made it. A great morning for looking for wild herbs and Absolutely, medicines. absolutely. It's all full and lush. Pat learned everything she knows about herbs from her grandmother and was foraging in the fields and hedgerows from an early age. As a little girl, you enjoyed it or, oh, God, I've got to go out well, you know, herbing when I was with granny little, again. When I, well, that's a good question. When I was a teenager and I used to smell like mucky old bits of bark <laughs> and root and it was kind of, and all the, all the other lasses well, were all going... All the boys pointing and go, there's oh, the weird girl with sticks oh, in her hair and she's always got grass stains on her knees. I can't oh, take her to the oh, school you know, dance. Too, too, too. Pat's convinced that wild herbs are just as tasty as the cultivated ones we can buy in the shops. So she's the perfect person to show me what I can and can't eat. If we stopped right here, what could you immediately pick up? Right here, plantain. Slightly bitter. A little bit bitter, Taste but a tiny bit of mushrooms. I'm as greedy as the next man, but I've got to say, even I'm a bit skeptical about this. It just looks like a field of grass to me. Here's a little bit of red clover. There you are. Beautiful milk. <laughs> mm. Wild sorrel. It's not quite as sharp as cultivated sorrel. No. But perfectly tasty. It is indeed. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Sticky willy. We used to sort of stick it in everybody's hair when we were in school. Or, or on people's on your, back. On, I had no idea that a cleavers was edible. Go on, open wide. There you are, darling. Yum, yum. Do you know something? That's really not bad at all. No! You could just simply fry up and eat like a vegetable with a bit of butter and You black could, pepper darling, on. you could, absolutely. It's brilliant that all these things are really edible. Cow parsley, Cow parsley. but its other name is wild chervil. This grows absolutely everywhere. Everywhere across England. Mm. Really fantastic. They would kind of lift dishes. I mean, that would go fantastically well with fish. Now, here we have vetch. Oh, my darling. Mm. There we are. I could get used to this. That's got a beanie quality to it. Yes. Isn't that fabulous? I mean, I can still see the gate from here, and I've had <laughs> six courses already. These hedgerow herbs are surprisingly delicious, but I'm keen to find out what they taste like when cooked. 